Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an MSI GF63 Thin Gaming Laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access, and replace your speakers. So first thing, guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now there's quite a few screws on this bottom case. You have four along the bottom edge here of the screen, three along this edge, three over here, one top left, and this last one here in the middle. So you're going to remove all of those screws. After you do, you'll take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your cases a little bit much. So a small, flat, plastic pry tool, go all the way across the seam of your bottom case and gently but firmly pry it up from the rest of your computer. Now, while you're working on that, guys, a couple things to shout out. When I'm working on computers, I have them sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or wearing an anti-static bracelet can go a long way to limiting the chances of damaging your computer. In addition to those type of supplies, any sort of pry tools or screwdrivers or anything like that you need for your project, there'll be a link above also below in the description where you can see some of the things that I use in my shop. That link will also include all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model laptop, including the RAM. Last thing to shout out about taking off this bottom case, you may notice there's an HDMI port on the back side. That's going to make it kind of a pain to get that side up. You got to make sure you get it around up and over that HDMI port. So super sorry, I didn't design it. It makes it kind of a pain. But after you get your bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, before going deeper into the computer, I always unplug or remove my main computer battery. Now, this battery, instead of being screwed on, it's glued on. Um, that kind of complicates it because I wasn't able to get this plug out without removing the battery. There's not a lot of room here. They didn't leave a lot of space. Um, and I put a pry tool right into that groove right there in the middle and kept trying to push it out. But again, because there wasn't a lot of room, I wasn't able to, I had to physically remove the entire battery. Now, because this battery is glued down and not screwed down, that presents another challenge. You have two options to remove it. You can either muscle it out, in which case be careful you don't bend it too much, you could break the battery, or you use a heat gun. Now, heat guns and batteries are an explosive danger. So make sure your battery is completely discharged before attempting to use a heat gun on it. Also make sure the heat gun is several inches above the battery and don't keep it in one place too long. So I had to go all the way over, down, up, down, heat it up, get that glue underneath a little soft. And then I used an old credit card or similar tool to slide under it to get that battery up. But again, a little bit of a pain in this model computer. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or unplugged, we're safer to proceed deeper into the computer. In order to get at your speaker wires, guys, you do need to remove this hard drive or solid state drive, um, whatever you have in here, this uh, SATA drive right here. So you're gonna undo this screw here on the left, undo this screw here on the right, use this black pull tab to pull the hard drive down, unplug it from this port, so that your battery and your hard drive are both removed. After your battery and hard drive are removed, then you can take up your speakers. You'll see this speaker here on the left, this speaker here on the right, and it's kind of hard to see in this picture, but you'll see it very well in your computer. There's a black and white wire that comes from this speaker, runs all the way down here, all the way over here, all the way under your drive, your SATA drive, connects to this speaker, and plugs into the motherboard right here. So as with any cables or wires in a computer, guys, try to avoid pulling on them to unplug something. Uh, try to just manipulate that plug. So use your fingernails on either side of that plug or a pry tool or a pair of pliers and just jimmy that out of its port that way. Again, try to avoid pulling on wires to unplug things. After that, guys, your speakers are pretty much undone. They aren't screwed down. All, all they have are these little rubber washers around these pillars here, and you can just slide those up out of there. 
Um, and as I mentioned before, replacement speakers are one of the many replacement and upgrade parts that will be included in, in the list below in, in that link. So I hope this helped you out, guys. I hope it helped you get into your computer, access your speakers. Um, if you have any questions, go below, check out the FAQs in the description. That could save you some time getting an answer. If you still need to leave me a comment, please feel free to. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.